Hi everyone and welcome to the second edition of my Building a Production Ready REST API in Go course. So who am I? Well, my name is Elliot Forbes and I've been working professionally with Go for the past seven years now. I started my career at JP Morgan Chase, which is a large enterprise bank based in America. And then after that, moved on to Curve, which is a fintech startup based out of London. And then currently I'm working as a senior software engineer at CircleCI, working on their ingestion of incoming webhooks that then trigger pipelines. Now, over the past few years, I've been honing my craft when it comes to building services in Go and constantly iterating and improving. Now, this, this course is hopefully going to capture most of my learnings within that time and present them to you in easily digestible chunks that can help you accelerate your own Go learning journey. Now, in this revised second edition of the course, I'm going to be walking you through everything it takes in order to build clean, easily testable and maintainable Go services. We're going to walk through stage by stage building up a production ready REST API, and I'm going to introduce more and more advanced concepts as we go along. Now, throughout this course, we're going to be building a comments REST API. And this comments REST API is going to allow you to post comments, update comments, delete comments, and read comments. This API will be backed by a Postgres database. And I'm going to show you how you can do things like run your service and your Postgres databases side by side using things like Docker Compose for local testing. Now, finally, at the end of this course, I'm going to show you how you can implement a CI CD pipeline that will be built on top of Circle CI. No surprises there, as I'm currently working there. And we're going to show you how you can do things like automatically build, test, lint, and deploy your application as soon as you've pushed any new changes up to a Git repository. Now, if you have any additional issues or questions or concerns with the course, then there is a Discord channel that you can reach out to me upon. And I'll try and get back to you with real-time support for any issues that you face to ensure that your learning journey is as smooth as possible. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy the course and let's dive in.